but how you give this poison to the piranha is really unique. What you do is you take some of these leaves and you wad them up and you start mashing them up. This releases the toxins within the leaves, which when eaten by the piranha, stuns them and stops them from getting oxygen. And then they're forced to float to the surface. I've got some small bait fish and I'm going to stuff them with balls of this green mash. I have to work fast with this stuff because this poison degrades really fast. So I just simply throw it into the water and now I just wait for the piranha to come. Okay, right over there. Is it a piranha? Yeah, it's a piranha right here. Oh, I swam under the boat. There it is right there. Ah, okay, yeah, you definitely don't want to be grabbing a piranha by its teeth because right here you can see the very top of their mouth there. And then look at there on that bottom jaw. They are razor sharp teeth, so much like a shark. They work in so much the same way too. They just basically grab a hold of a bunch of flesh and then just start ripping away. And these razor sharp teeth act like a saw. This is a very feared animal here in these kind of waters. But piranhas are not man eaters. They're more likely to end up on a plate in these parts. Even this little piranha here has all kinds of meat, a lot of little bones too, but the very best part of a piranha is the cheek. That's where all that muscle is. That's the power behind those really razor sharp teeth. So with the piranha that I have here and thanks to this plant, I'll be eating really well tonight. If you like what you've just seen, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.